So I'm currently reading this book at the moment and it's called The Best Advice I've Ever Got. It's beautiful. It's very simple. It's to the point. It's just a lot of versions of different perspective of what you should be doing in life to really get to where you need to be and be the person you want to be. But my man, the one advice that is not here is obviously the famous one by, well, it's not even the, um, the actual advice. It's the question because a lot of the, um, a lot of um, things that happens in the books, a lot of questions being answered by people giving advice to people like me that are looking for it. When Shakespeare was alive, Shakespeare asked, you to be or not to be but now that Shakespeare is no longer and Sir Thames is the one that is alive the question now is should you come out to your friends and family or shouldn't you because that's the actual question <laughs> Hello, darling! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Satense, and you know I'm all about rainbow. I give rainbow, I breathe rainbow, because everything is actually rainbow. I'm talking about the colorful essence of everything that is around us, because we all have different nuances that makes me, you, the person that you are. Standwa, as you can already see on my title, the topic of today is, well, the question is today, should you come out to your friends and family, well, to the world as a member of the LGBTQIA plus community? And that's not the ally part because the ally is very different. I'm talking about the people that categorize themselves or see themselves as queer, as different, as not part of the norm of everything in society. Should you really tell everyone that it is what it is and dinguye lumtun dinguye so that you can start, you know, being alive. Before we get into the question and dabble around it, please don't forget to show some love on this YouTube video by liking it. And then if you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe down below and click that bell button so that you can get your instant notifications whenever I do upload. And also one more thing from me, Oh my gosh, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that has been supporting my channel, liking the videos, sharing their comments. So it's time as I'm continue doing the damn things because I'm the lapa for the damn things. So last year, I actually made a video of me coming out. But as you would, if you've already watched the video, you will see the content of my coming out is not the, the generic or the conventional one. But like I said on the video, Google anything that is out of the norm and anything that you believe that you should be sharing so that people understand your ecosystem and your life and da 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 and da 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 is basically coming out. So I'm going to put it up here. You can check it out later. Um, just to, to hear, because my coming out was not necessarily my sexuality, but more gender-based um, as a non-binary individual. The motivation of this video um, and why I'm actually doing it is because I get so many questions from TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, um, even Facebook, actually, and personal on the road, Napinawe, to you, you call it, you say it, um, where people ask, how are you so free to be yourself? How are you so free to maneuver, do who you boo, and be, be that girl? you know um, and for me it's scary to get that question it's so scary because one I'm I'm around people where if you are not minority you they living their best lives where if you whereas if you are minority you have all these questions of how can I express myself to the fittest and I'm like why do we have to to be facing these challenges, we are human beings. Go out there and be alive and live. So, should you come out? And of course, you know that I, yes, you should come out. Um, because there's a lot of, when you're not out, you don't express yourself to the fullest. You, you just don't. You limit yourself and you go according to societal expectations. And as much as you could be able to sustain, not yourself, but the of being able to 
Be this person according to societal standards. Oksalayo, time is running and you are taking from yourself, not from society, but from yourself in being this person that you really, there's no one that needs to be anyone, not in this world. Uh -uh. You need to be yourself. That's what you need to be. What I've discovered in people that haven't come out and in their respect, I would understand. Um, but things like family and friends are usually the reason you're not out and then obviously the rest of it being societal being religious and zakatza zakatza za. but ideally you as an individual before you are, are this follower of this religion before you this one's friend before you are this one's child before you this one's sibling you are an individual and for you not to be able to play the part the way you can and would love to in any situation purely because of your sexuality and while well, being queer and being part of the lgbtqia um community it's it's really sad um but the the challenge and the beautiful thing that i really want to share on this video um why it's amazing when you have come out regardless of the homophobia because also if it's anything homophobia is a huge reflection it is a huge huge huge, huge reflection of the person that is being homophobic their lack of understanding their lack of knowledge of not just you not just your sexuality but the experience of life like homophobia is so backwards betunana darlings please 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 we don't entertain it but at the same time we also don't delve too much into it where we are trying to fight it and be activists of it i'm not saying don't stand up for yourself but at the same time don't delve too deep into it because you have a whole life to live and 24 hours in one day trying to fix someone's beliefs and i'm going to be sharing reasons why it's amazing amazing to come out as i already said that. so part of the perks of coming out is you being able to express yourself to the fullest and you know attempts and expression you know um, you know attempts and expression i'm all about um expression because it means a lot to me when i'm able to identify certain characteristics of a certain individual because that's who they are not necessarily me looking for specific points of who they should be and what would make them the best human being mm -mm. the best humans for me in my head are the ones that can be distinct um to who they are and what's happening in their head and for them to find creative means to express exactly that so that is why for me uh -uh, the rest when it comes to who you are but bring them in when they are ready to learn just like, because that's the thing whenever pe whenever any queer individual not any but whenever i hear anyone promoting the the knowledge or the education of homosexuality to people around them it's always a no why should we be learning about homosexuality when there's all these things to learn so now some leave homosexuality let's talk about just queerness and the minority or the lgbtqi um community we've naturally have to learn about you you might have not seen it but every step of the way we've been very focused not very focused but very observant and you know the societal norm hence if you don't find yourself fitting in it's a little bit difficult to express yourself because you feel like you don't belong so the learning from this side is being done on a constant on a daily so for you to be able to express yourself and give yourself that opportunity as an individual to educate people around you of who you are if need be um and share what what dingle dangles you you know and why you're looking like this those are opportunities for us to really grow off spaces and 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 you know what also your parents and friends family and the world if they are so used to this type of world once you come in which is the beauty of why there's so many people in this world and different circles many different so when you find yourself in one of the circles where there's a lot of people that don't have the knowledge it's okay to them like it's okay not everyone has to have the knowledge of life you know but if you, they are affected it rather see yourself as means to to really share and change the world um and perspective 
it's not your goal to change that perspective, but you're also not going to shun your personality, who you are, and your experience of being alive purely because you don't understand or purely because you don't believe. Um, yeah. Another thing about you um, coming out to just the world and to yourself also and just accepting everything that you are about, you flourish in being alive. You just flourish. And by flourishing, I don't mean you go be rich because the Thames... I am rich, actually, I am. My bank account is very, very loaded, but it's just that I don't have access to the money today. But beyond that, just your experience of love becomes richer and your doors that you open and your understanding and you feeling the power to actually express exactly how you feel about this from your perspective and who you are just makes it better. And your voice becomes heard and you feel heard because you're speaking as yourself and you're not saying what you know people want to hear, you know? And that that's one of the things that for me, ever since I've came out, not as, as a gay individual, but as a non-binary in terms of my identity, it's just changed everything. Um, because I, do, I really don't have to think about now, do I have to wear this red shirt and tie it how a man would tie it? Or just open it? Or play like, I don't know. Oh, by the way, this is my best friend's necklace she's so far and this video is special and dedicated to her because she was a huge part and was next to me every step of the way when i kind of started started coming out and really dressing the way i wanted to she's that friend that gave me that affirmation in the room already before i went out um to the world where she was like oh my gosh that looks so gorgeous on you oh that suits you or when we went shopping she was like girl I see this and I see this for you and only you. And I'm like, really? Oh my gosh. I really also see it for me. I really love it. Um, and it's nice to know that, you know. So, yes. Oh, I just shared that. Because it doesn't match. And every time I looked at myself in the mirror, I was just like, this doesn't match at all. But it's for you, Tomiam. And thank you so much. Um, it's been a lovely experience. And if it's anything, I'm going to continue um, learning whilst expressing and being alive um but yes let's move on from that another <laughs> point but obviously also this point is very similar to the last one and also kind of encompasses everything that i've said in terms of you as an individual once you've come out as much as also it's going to be uncomfortable for the people that are around you because already you know they have they might have certain views that might not even be who you are but because of the understanding and their understanding of your sexuality and not even your sexuality just your identity is obscure you can it's an uncomfortable process but if you give yourself and the people that you are around the time they they, they have to jump on the boat they have to jump on the boat besides if they don't want you in their life and, and and that's really the question you want to ask yourself am i around people that really want to be around me and why do they want to be around me and if sexuality is such a big part of life in their life and their perspective of who i am and they don't want me around why am i sticking why am i sticking around some of some because you're wasting your time one of the most beautiful things again for me coming out it allowed me to confidently um, engage with other LGBTQI members and get to learn about them. And if it's anything, I've also learned that being part of LGBTQIA, some as some, me and you being gay doesn't make us the same at all. Um, the way we see, believe things and how we feel, our stories are unique. It's different. And the way you feel about your identity and how you can how you can express it is also very different when you see two men dressing like women whatever that is they don't also feel exactly the same they don't have the same perspective either and hence it's so difficult to categorize and why again you coming out would be a beautiful gift to the world you live live in because you get to share who you are to us to me to your mom to your dad to your friend because who are you? What are you bringing to the table? Before you die, how do we remember you? Obviously, your sexuality is not what you want to be remembered for, nor do you want to be remembered for the way you dress. No, it doesn't matter. Ideally, 
if it's anything I personally don't want to be remembered for, for being such a member of society that is very good at maintaining societal standards. That is not an achievement for me. Um, and it's personal. So if it is for you, it's okay. But if you're watching this video and you think to yourself, Yes, come out. And another thing that I've also found, um, found from coming out is that the challenges that you face are no longer, are no longer surface-based. When I say surface-based, oh my gosh, I don't want to, to devalue certain challenges in life, but part of my challenges now today are not me trying to maintain again um, what type of boy I am or should be, but part of my challenges are personal. They are mine. It's how to grow myself. It's what I did wrong or I feel like I did wrong and how can I grow? What mistake was? And again, how do we better that? Rather than, oh my gosh, I'm gay. It is the end of the world. Oh my gosh, I'm expressing myself in this way and it's wrong. Oh my gosh, I'm... I'm it's you not fighting against the world. If it's it, the, the battles between you and yourself and everything inside you with your organs, with your mind, all of that, your soul included. And for me, if a person, again, why I even made this video, if you are focusing on those elements of your life, if you are focusing on personal things that how can you grow to become a better person around the people that you station yourself around, that is that e that. that so, yeah, ultimately coming out or why you should come out, in my opinion, you just add another beautiful element on earth. If you're not queer and you're watching this video and you consider yourself as an ally, honestly, beautiful. And I really love and appreciate you for many, many reasons. Um, and because for in my life, many different people that are, are, are allies of LGBTQIA has taught me a lot also on, on the hows, on, on also what's happening on the other side. They've taught me also the questions that they have um, on certain things that I find weird, but they actually not weird. They don't experience what I experience and I don't experience what they experience. And for us to collaborate within our thoughts and our experience, you, you, you're just accentuating your life experience in general, you know, and the freedom of the relationship that you are building with this person or the community that you are within is, is phenomenal. So for me, again, allies within and thank you. Actually, if you're an ally of the LGBTQ community or you'd love to be part of the ally um, of the LGBT community, if you not queer or you don't categorize or identify to say beautiful, there are a few suggestions that I would love to actually just drop for you on how you can actually not ally better, who am I doing Bani for Tony, but in terms of just assisting in the process and the people that are around you that you can see are part of the LGBT community. And you, if you know you can better the experience of them even discovering the nuances of who they are, Stanasam, let me actually just throw cute suggestions for you. First of all, listening to your friend, listen to them. What are they trying to say rather than what they actually saying? Because personally, again, I used to be very, I'm only giving this point because I know that when I was slightly younger, I used to beat around the bush in terms of communicating certain things to certain people. And it's not their fault um, in them not understanding or seeing what I'm talking about, but it would have been very nice. It would have if, if, no, it's not even that. It's just that if you listen, there's so much more that you can you get to, to hear and you get to see what kind of role you get to play in this friendship. Um, I'm sure your friend is also doing their best to understand what role they can play in your friendship, in contribution to the growth of it, the beauty of it. I will. Second advice that you as an ally could Keep in mind, um, it's misinterpretation and generalizing the LGBT community um, in one little ba basket in terms of 
You are, you are, you are, you are, you all are. No, 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 no. We not all are at all. Just like you not all are. So the differences that you see within yourself, your understanding of your sexuality, your identity, and the uniqueness that you feel as an individual, it's exactly the same for the LGBT community. So in terms of not throwing out or treating a, a member of the LGBT in a, st in a stereotypical way, like, they are fully aware what you're doing. And even if you're thinking you're doing the best, rather not. And be normal about the treatment until they say, if, if the conversation gets to that point. You know what I'm saying? So misinterpretation, avoid again just generalizing um, your generalizing behavior on how to treat members of the LGBTQI community. And then another thing, if you're an LGBTQI ally, avoid homo jokes, like homosexual jokes, because they're not funny and they can be very offensive to some people, especially if they are still... Because sometimes we're not all in the same levels of, of having have accepted who we are and really living and expressing this life. Honestly, for me, again, it's... If you do it to me personally, but homophobia, ah uh ah -uh, uh -uh. So and a lot of those jokes bring about homophobic um auras and just that. Ooh, I don't want to be around here. Of course, if you're a professional comedian and you are trying to bring across a message, something we we love satire. We love cackling over nonsense so that is also understand understandable i'm not saying don't live the best life and really be fun about everything but don't be a party pooper some things are just not funny they're just really not funny at all and then the last thing that i really 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 encourage you inclusivity as much as you have that gay friend it doesn't mean that now you're an lgbtq i a l i um because there's so much more than just your friend that is queer. Um, being inclusive, you don't have to be every gay, um, bi, pansexual, ziggy zam boom boom friend, but understanding the differences. Um, also sharing space and opening the circle for conversation and the knowledge, the learning that you get and also sharing you always open to share your perspective. You are literally always open to share your perspective. And I'm personally always open to, to hear, to listen, um, because I don't believe I know everything and I will never know everything. I will always be a learner of this life thing because yay, every little baby that gets popped out and gets an opportunity to be alive, that's an opportunity for a whole life. Or generation to change I mean if you look at leaders that has made the differences it was an individual that led and they could have been that baby that was popped out today or oh, on it we really don't know what life is all about and we are all learners of it and being inclusive in the knowledge and sharing of it darling gorgeous beautiful lovely otherwise thank you so much for giving me all the time and watching my video Diabulela, darling again there's that video that i suggested earlier otherwise there are so many more videos that are colorful on my channel that you can check it out and don't forget to drop that comment if you're brand new again subscribe down below click that bell button so i love you what am i trying to say i'm trying to say See you on the next video, darling.